What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel side and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, perhaps through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Uh, free general oracle card reading for sign of Sag. Like I said, it can resonate for any um, placements of Sagittarius, but it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. There's tons, millions, millions of people in the world, tons of Sages, so only take the messages that resonate. Okay, so I got a couple channeled in as I was meditating on Sagittarius's oracle card reading for the month of April of 2022. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me, you guys. Even though it's for April 2022, I just want to disclaimer that um, there's still 10 days left in the month of March. And since everybody's on different time of life paths, some of you guys, it could, some of these messages, if they do resonate for you, they could resonate in March because we still have 10 days left. Some April, some later, possibly, because everybody's on different time of life paths. So, you, you know, I'm just disclaimering that, okay? Okay, so the channel message I received was, or channel I received, sorry, he is, I don't know, he wants to just be near me all the time now. Um, the channel messages I received was, a Sagittarius is about to start a very nasty divorce battle. That was the first one. And then about 30 seconds after that, I heard a Sagittarius is about to file for a divorce soon from their husband. It is about to shock the hell out of their husband. Um, feminine energy. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Sagittarius. Um, there's at least two married, of two of you guys that are married um, that that resonates for in the universe, um, but two different spectrums. The first uh, category one, married Sagittarius, you're about to, uh, you could be masculine or feminine, I'm feeling, for category one. You're about to begin a very um, nasty divorce battle, I heard. Um, so nasty divorce battle energy in the beginning stages, it sounds like, or near beginning stages for category one, married Sagittarius, masculine or feminine, I'm feeling category two, married Sagittarius. You are a feminine energy. I heard, and I heard you, you fem Sagittarius, you are about to initiate. It sounds like divorce proceedings or divorce paperwork or something of that nature, to your husband, I heard. So you are married. You are a fem energy Sagittarius in category two. You are legally married um, in a legally binding marriage contract, and you are about to initiate. You are about to initiate divorce papers on your legally married masculine spouse. I heard it is about to shock the hell out of you. So only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in your own life, however it resonates. If it resonates for you. Uh, married Sagittarius energies, um, masculine or femme in category one, and definitely feminine energy in category two. Uh, for some of you guys, you, you definitely have a vagina, I'll tell you that. But for some, you could have both parts, possibly, but definitely female parts. However that resonates and plugs into your one's life, if that resonates for you, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Come on, baby. Oh, look. I'm sorry. Oh, Lord, you move so fast. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. I'm going to use three decks for the Oracle card reading. I hope everybody is doing well. Spirit messages you have for Sagittarius. Okay. A particular Pisces is about to become very significant in some of these Sagittarius's 
um, divorce proceedings. Information on this Piscean. It's going to be very useful in these court proceedings. For some, for some, the information on the Piscean is going to be used against you. Oh my God. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So category one and two, uh, masculine or feminine, um, Sag or Fem Sag in category two, however that resonates. Some kind of Piscean energy. Uh, some of you guys, it sounds like the information on the Piscean is going to be used against you. Um, for some, it's going to be useful for you. It sounds like help you in the uh, divorce proceedings. Um, maybe as evidence um, or something of that nature. Um, it could be video energy, picture energy, text message energy, email energy, um, whatever it is. Um, subpoena, uh, however that resonates. Um, but some of you guys, the Piscean is going to be useful to you. Um, some, it is, they're going to be used against you. Uh, so whoever this Pisces is in your life, you have to plug the Pisces in, how they resonate for you. I feel it could be a masculine or feminine Pisces. Uh, they could have Pisces under Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, they've been having their Jupiter charts. You plug it in, however it resonates. And for some, it is a Scorpionic energy. And for some, it is a scorpionic energy. For, so for some of you guys, it's a Piscean that's going to either be in your favor in this div uh, divorce battle or against you. For some, it is a scorpionic energy either in your favor or against you. Uh, heavy water sign energy. They could have Scorpio or Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the moon, and Jupiter charts. Um, one of these divorce battles is about to be very nasty, though, I heard. Very, very, very nasty. At least one. At least one is. So the one that's going to be very, very nasty, I'm presuming is a um, contested because there's two types of, for anybody who doesn't know, because you know, I've been divorced a very, very, very long time, a very long time. Um, I've been married one time and I've been divorced a very long time uh, for myself personally. But there's two types of divorces. There is contested and there is non-contested. So whoever these two situations resonate with, a, a definitely category one for sure. I'm not sure about category two. You have to plug that in your life however you go about it there, Femsage. But there's two types of divorce situations, con contested and non-contested. So um, this is definitely, I'm feeling contested. Definitely. This one I feel could go contested or non-contested. Um, however, you and your masculine spouse decides to end up doing it. Um, if you can agree on a non-contested divorce, um, or if you can't agree, it's going to be contested and be a nasty divorce battle as well. Um, to me, it really probably depends on money and assets and property and willingness to work it out, possibly. However, that resonates. And whatever kind of evidence you have on your spouse or they have on you, possibly, I mean, However, that plugs in. Spirit messages you have assigned Sagittarius. A particular Sagittarius masculine is getting a huge ass wake up call. They realize they were lied to in such a huge way in the past. They are about to file a surprise lawsuit on a Scorpio masculine. It is about to shock the hell out of him. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Sagittarius masculine. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So it's a Sag masculine. Some it's on a, Sa a Scorpio masculine. Some it's on a Libra feminine. Holy crap, you guys. Whoa. So, okay, so Sag, masculine energy, very strong. Whoever you are, Sag, masculine, you could have Sag in your sun, sun, moon, rising, Venus. North node, Benham, and Jupiter charts, however that resonates for you, Sag, masculine. But I heard, uh, whoever you are, Sag, masculine, I heard you realized you were lied to in a huge way. Some, it sounds like by a Scorpio masculine, some by a Libra femme. But however that plugs in your life, I heard you're going to surprise the hell out of this person, whether it's a Scorpio masculine or a Libra femme, and place a surprise lawsuit on them. 
Um, it's that bad. Apparently it's that bad. And it was such a huge ass lie or lies, whatever it was. So, um, you plug it in your own life, however it resonates, Sag masculine. Um, you're either going to place a surprise lawsuit on a Scorpio masculine or a Libra feminine. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hammer, Jupiter charts, or Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hammer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, whatever lie or lies the Scorpio masculine or the Libra fem, or maybe for some uh, Sag masculines, both people possibly, it was it was so huge it's determining i mean it's precipitating a lawsuit i mean it's that huge so i mean you plug it in how it resonates dear lord of mercy oh i heard keep it reversed okay uh fulfillment i heard keep it reversed okay so we have vulture spirit and snake spirit number 63 or 55 could be very significant numbers at one slide 63 or 55 it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, possible, um, yeah, jersey number. 63 or 55. We have um, confirmation for my kitty, by the way. Intuitive one. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, baby. You have double fire sign energy in here. Holy crap. I just realized that. Because vulture spirit and snake spirit are both fire sign energies, both. And you are fire sign. So I feel for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with fire sign. And I'm so serious about that. So you plug it in however it resonates. Um, for some, I feel you could be dealing with two plus fire signs in your life. Um, if you are, they could have uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thun, Benhaven, or Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, double fire sign energy. And you are fire sign, of course. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy moly. Now, however, however this fire sign, other fire sign or fire signs apply in your life. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. Number 47, number 36, number 37 are very significant. Okay, I heard number 46, um, 36, and 37 are very significant. 46, 36, 37, and 38, and 38. 46, 36, 37, 38. So you plug that in, however that resonates as well. Um, we also have 63 and 55 as well. So... Those could be, you know, the 46, um, 35, I'm sorry, 46, 36, 37, or 38 could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible jersey number, possible day of birth number, possible social number, possible green card number. You plug it in how it resonates. Nothing is wasted. A particular Sagittarius is about to really make do with what they have. Make lemons uh, out of make lemonade out of lemons. Strapped right now for resources and money. Okay, um, you plug it in. How it resonates? Well, th that's a good mindset, Sag. If this resonates for you, I heard you're about to make the best out of what you have, basically. Uh, make something out of nothing, basically, is what I'm presuming here. Make lemons out of lemonade, which I've had to do that many times in my life, many times. And, um, you know, you have to do what you have to do out of life um, and with your resources and time and money and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, trust me, I have been there many, many times, many times. Um, but it makes you stronger makes you stronger and whoever you are feel you're very strong i heard you're strapped right now for resources and money so um so you're going to make the best out of what you have basically um so nothing is wasted in this situation i feeling is um making the best out of what you have making lemons a uh, lemonade out of lemons basically uh, which is really beautiful energy um that's beautiful and a particular sagittarius is about to get constructive criticism from someone they never thought they would get it from. 
it's actually going to help them. They're going to get this constructive criticism in a way they never thought they would get it. Some through a tarot card reading. Okay, Sag. Um, and at least one of you guys in the universe, I heard you're about to get some kind of constructive criticism um, in a way you would have never thought you would get it. But I heard it's going to be very helpful in, in, from a person or situation you never thought you would get it from as well. Um, one of you guys through a tarot card reading. So it sounds like one of you guys is about to stumble upon a tarot card reader or reading. Um, it sounds like for whoever that's for, you you don't believe in tarot card readings or you're not, wasn't interested in tarot card readings or something. Of, it doesn't sound like you were interested in this reader or readings period or the tarot community, but somehow you are about to stumble upon this reader or be told about this reader and you're just about to check it out. But somehow you're about to get some kind of positive well, not positive, but constructive criticism that's about to help you in some shape, form, or fashion by this reader. Um, for at least one of you guys from a reader. For others of you guys, it's going to be by someone else that you would have never thought to, I think, give you good advice. Constructive criticism. Because I heard it's going to help you out in a huge way. So I think you maybe look down upon this person, whether it was the reader or somebody else. Um, not a reader. and But whatever advice they're about to give you, I heard it's about to help you out in a huge ass way. So um, I feel like don't judge a book by its cover energy here. Um, I feel you judge this person or this people or situation prejudged automatically, but they're actually going to help you out in a huge ass way. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, however that resonates for you. For one of you guys, it's a reader. For one of you guys, it's somebody else. I'm filling in the 3D uh, plane. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Snake spirit, time to heal. And also, too, I want to say, you might be watching readings because you were going through such a rough time in your life, whoever. Because whoever that first message is for, you're going through a rough time in your life. You're going through a rough freaking time. And trust me, I've went through a lot of rough times in my life. Um, and usually when people, I mean, not usually, sometimes when people visit the spiritual community, i.e. Terra Land, um, it's because they are going through rough times in their life. I never, um, I always believed in the spiritual community and tarot card readings, but I never really watched them hardcore until I started getting gang stalked in my community. And let me tell you, it didn't go on for like two weeks. It went on for like two to three years. So, I mean, everything happens for a reason. But I heard for at least one of you guys, the reader's really going to help you out in a huge way. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Everything happens for a reason. Snake spirit, time to heal. And for some, I feel the reader could be a fire sign, possibly. And I'm serious about that. You have double fire sign energy. I feel for some, this reader that's going to help you out, and I think you thought prejudged them and didn't think they would. I think there might be an Aries Leo Sag, possibly, because you have double fire sign energy. Vulture spirit, nothing. Um, sorry, wrong one. Snake spirit, time to heal. A particular Sagittarius just recently got out of the hospital. A lot of healing to do. Some mentally, some physically. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Some drug rehab rehabilitation. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, Sag. So if this resonates for you, um, some of you guys just got out of the hospital, I heard. Hospital, recent, um, sounds like recent discharge from some kind of hospital energy. For some, I feel it was mental health um, uh, hospitalization. And I'm, I'm serious about that because I heard uh, drug rehabilitation. So, um, and no judgments, no judgments here. I'm not judging, okay? Um, but for some, I feel it was medical, like a, hospital for medical uh, purposes. So you have to only, you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug these messages in how they resonate. For some, I feel it was a mental health institution. Um, for some, it could have been like true mental health, just mental health, um, period. Um, 
not drug related. For some, it could have been medical, um, strictly medical. For some, I feel it was drugs. Um, and, you know, mental health is included with drugs, but others of you guys, I feel the mental health was not drug related, if that makes sense. So um, you plug yourself in wherever you fit, if you fit in those categories. But I heard a lot of healing needs to be done here still, um, mentally, physically, etc., etc. And one of you guys at least was in um, some kind of recent drug rehabilitation program. So a lot of healing energy here. Um, however, that plugs in your life, whether it was for drugs, whether it was strictly mental health, or uh, whether it was for medical. Um, how that resonates, okay? Fulfillment reversed. I was going to turn it upright. I heard to keep it reversed. A particular Sagittarius is not being fulfilled sexually. Very sexually frustrated. One of these Sagittariuses is not going to go seek anyone anymore. Very promiscuous in the past. However, another Sagittarius is about to go be very impulsive. Hook up with somebody and they're going to give them a terrible STD. They're going to really regret it. Oh my Lord, you plug it in how it resonates. Lord have mercy, Sag. So you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, Sagittarius, there's two categories of you guys in this situation too. Um, it sounds like one's going to make a very positive choice. One's going to make a very negative choice. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But however it resonates, in both categories, you're not being sexually fulfilled. Fulfillment reverse. In this situation, it's sacral, um, not sacral. Yeah, sacral. Sexual, sacral chakra energy, which is your energy, your chakra, very bottom chakra on your body. Everybody's got seven of them. It's down here by your woo your sexual organs. Um, it controls sexual drive, sexual motivation, um, sex life energy, basically. Um, and you're not being sexual, sexually fulfilled, basically. Um, if that resonates for you. And I heard um, one of you guys, though, is going to make a very smart choice. It sounds like you're going to go celibate. Um, I heard you have a history of promiscu promiscu oh, I can't speak. promiscuous behavior in the past, basically. Um, but you're not going to be promiscuous this time. So it sounds like you're going to step back from the situation, assess it, realize you're not about that life no more, and not participate in promiscuous behavior. Uh, for some, I feel you could have been swingers or you just hooked up with people, random people all the time, how that resonates. Um, but you're not going to do it this time. You're going to stray away from your behavior of the past and step back and take a different perspective. For situation one, for situation two uh, is completely opposite. I heard you're, you're not being sexually fulfilled. Yes, but they're, whoever this is for, they're about to make a very impulsive decision and it sounds like do what they've always done in the past. Go out, do what they're doing with whoever they're doing it with, whether it's swinger energy or um, orgy energy or um, uh, whatever, whatever it is energy with person or people. And I heard they're going to contract a very serious STD, sexually transmitted disease. So not being sexually fulfilled in both of these situations, but there's two completely different spectrums here. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit Sagittarius if you do. You can be masculine or feminine, I'm feeling, but you are very sexually frustrated, man. I'll tell you that. However, that resonates in one's life. Union. A Sagittarius is about to go to a wedding soon. A Sagittarius is about to get married soon. Okay. Heard a Sag is about to go to a wedding soon for one of you guys. And one of you guys is about to get married soon. So we have the union card. So um, we have a lot. I mean, there's a lot going on in here. So you really have to plug yourself in wherever you fit if you do. 
we have at least two sages in the universe about to get divorces. Um, seriously. We have a lot of sexually frustrated sages. At least, well, at least two. At least two. And a sag about to go to a wedding. I feel you're about to be a part of the wedding party or a part of the audience. I don't think you're the one about to get married in category one. In category two, um, you are going to be the one getting married. So union in this aspect is marriage energy, whether you are visiting this wedding and you are a wedding party member or a guest, or you are the one actually getting married. However, that resonates in one's life. A two carat ring is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius's life soon. Two carat diamond ring. Wow, I heard a two carat diamond ring is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius's life soon. Two carats, man, that's that 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 ring's not playing around. I'll tell you that. A two carat diamond ring. Um, I'm a presuming it's real diamond and not knockoff like cubic zirconia, and I'm just being frill frill. Um, wow. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Two carats. That's not playing around. And I feel it's the real freaking deal. It's not no cubic zirconia. Uh, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy moly. Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Hold on a second. A gun permit is about to become very significant as well. A Sagittarius has a very jealous married neighbor been stalking them. Oh, my Lord, Sagittarius, dear God. Oh, my God, whoever that's for. So, in this case, the union is the crazy married neighbor, basically. I mean, and I'm serious. Um, if they're stalking you, not screw loose, screw hanging off, and I'm serious. Um, I'm not trying to be funny about that. I'm serious. Um, and so married, married neighbor, um, somebody, whether you're single or married or in a relationship or what have you, I don't know, but you have a very mentally unstable neighbor so much so they are stalking you. Um, if this resonates for you and so much, so it's about to lead you to go get a gun permit, whoever you are, you don't have a gun permit yet. yet. And whoever you are, it sounds like you want to do it the right legal way. And that's good. You always want to do it the right legal way. Absolutely. freaking -lutely. Um, So you're going to obtain a gun permit, it sounds like, and probably go through the gun training class or classes, hopefully your area offers, um, to get certified, uh, not certified, to get your gun permit to um, carry. Um, and absolutely. freaking -lutely. Um, Sounds like, you're, like I said, you're going to do it the right way. Doesn't sound like you're going to go off the streets, buy a freaking um, black market gun and go shoot anybody up. It sounds like you're gonna you're doing it the same logical way, and you're going to get um, go through the proper steps to get a gun to protect yourself because you have a very mentally unstable neighbor. Um, I would be careful. Um, there are things called protection orders, by the way, Sagittarius, and I didn't hear you're going to get a protection order on your neighbor, but it sounds like somebody might need to, and I'm serious about that. Of course, you only take the messages that resonate, and the, you only take the advice if you want to take it. I'm not telling anybody what to do, okay? Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. A Sagittarius is about to open a new restaurant soon. It is about to be very prosperous initially, but after that, you'll you will have to keep come up with wonderful new ideas to get them coming in and keep up the management. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. Well, congrats to whatever Sages is about to open up a new restaurant. Um, so that's the period of prosperity and abundance right there. Um, you're about to open up a new restaurant. Um, congrats. Uh, for some of you guys, I feel you've probably, it's already there. It's already physically in the 3D. You've already 
done what you need to do. Like you've got the space, you've probably decorated, uh, maybe you've hired your staff or is hiring your staff, hire, hiring your staff. But however that resonates, it sounds like you're about to open it soon. So it sounds like all the hard work has been done or most of it's been done. Maybe, you know, the permits from the city and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Sounds like all that's been done. Um, it's just opening time or is it near opening time? I heard it's going to be very, very, very prosperous at the beginning, but um, which most of them are prosperous. New businesses usually are very prosperous at the beginning, no matter what they are usually. It's after the newness wears off is where you've got to keep them coming in. And that's just the truth. And it sounds like that's what is um, happening here. Um, but I heard basically um, you need to come up with new creative ways after the newness wears off to get them to come in um, and to keep your management up. So, you know, hopefully you don't have any bad managers. You don't have any bad people stealing from you, things like that in your management or in your staff. Um, hopefully, but, um, hopefully you're highly intuitive and you could, you know, keep the business going. So you plug it in, how it resonates. A particular Sagittarius that was once getting child support, their ex is in the military for one. For one, their ex is a veteran of the military. Through many shocking series of chain of events, the child support's about to end. It is about to piss them off in a huge way. Feminine Sagittarius. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates, Sag. So if this resonates for you, um, you're a Fem Sag, and there's at least two of you guys. One of you guys, your um, ex, your ex. So um, whether it was a baby daddy or a ex boyfriend or an ex fiance or ex um, um, husband, um, you have a child or children with this person. One of you guys, they currently are still in the military. For one, they are a veteran of the military. But I heard through many shocking series of chain events that child support is about to end for you. You're, so it's about to end for you. you. It sounds like you've been getting good child support from them. The period of prosperity in this and abundance in this situation was the child support that has just been coming in, coming in, coming in. It sounds like very consistently because um, they have consistent pay for it to come in or has had it. But through many shocking series of chain events, it's about to to stop and it's about to piss you off and there will be nothing you can do about it know this some you're highly intuitive you do know this oh my lord and i heard there's going to be nothing you can do about it um one of you is at least one of you is very highly intuitive heard there's nothing you can do about it um but you already know there's nothing you can do about it and for at least one of you guys i'm feeling it's going to shock you but it doesn't sound like your intuition is very high and um, you're going to be wondering like, why me, why me, why me? And you're not going to quite understand. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. But I heard there's going to be nothing you can do about it. So I think the shocking series of chain of events is one, um, the money's going to stop in the child support situation. But one, but one of you guys is you're going to know why. You're going to know why it's going to end. And you know there's going to be nothing you can do about it. But for at least one of you guys, it sounds like you're not going to understand why it's going to end. So, of course, everybody's situation is different. You plug it in however it resonates. But your current, I mean, the person that you have had child or children with that you're not currently with, that you received the child support from, they're either a current in the, currently in the military or they are a veteran of the military whether that's Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, or Coast Guard, if, if they are uh, in the United States, if they're in a different country, whatever military branch that is in your country, you plug it in how it resonates. Bo, you are highly thought of.
a particular Sagittarius feminine celebrity is about to get an outpour of positive support. Book sales are about to go through the roof, through the roof. And a ton of fan mail very soon. Wow, so you plug it in how it resonates, Sage Fem Celebrity. And let me tell you, the last time, the last reading I did for Sage, I was pulling in a Sage Fem Celebrity too. And I, I really feel I know who this person is, and I'm serious. I do. Intuitively, I feel I know who this person is. Um, I feel, I think you might watch, ma'am, because this is the second reading I have pulled you in. The second reading. So I, I feel you might watch, or maybe one of your managers watches, or maybe one of your not crazy family members watches or someone that truly cares about you and isn't crazy karmic to you watches maybe um hopefully you watch but whether it's you or somebody that truly cares about you and isn't narcissistic and sociopathic to you i think they watch because you're the second the second reading i pulled you in and i'm serious um but if you watch you know that but i heard your book sales your satch fam celebrity and like I, I told you for everybody else i think i know who this is but i'm not gonna say it on here i'm not gonna say it on here but um however that resonates whoever whatever side fin celebrity this is um i heard that your book sales are about to go through the roof they're about to go through the roof in a positive way through the, the roof the roof the roof is on fire what that's awesome um, so in a positive way, they're about to skyrocket. Your book sales are about to skyrocket for a very good reason. For a very good reason is what I just heard. So your book sales are about to skyrocket for a very good reason. And, um, you, um, are about to get tons of fan mail. So you're, you're a very high prominent celebrity. You're a Sag fam. You can have Sag in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midnight with Jupiter charts. You're highly thought of. People love you. They're about to send you lots of fan mail. Your book sales are about to skyrocket through the roof, baby, because the roof is on fire. I didn't hear that. That's just my little take on this. Um, and in all seriousness, though, that's really freaking fantastic. That's fantastic. I think I know who you are. And I love you. I just want to say um, we're about the same age. You're a couple years older than me. And um, I've always loved you. Even I didn't like your music when you started when we were teenagers. Um, I didn't. I actually, I, I didn't. Not at all. I'm a rock gal. Always have been. But as an adult, I love you now because of the crap you've been through. And I'm so serious. Just saying. A particular Sagittarius is about to find out their child, adult child, is pregnant. They're about to get lots of support from many people. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So whoever you are, you're a Sag um, adult. You're a Sag adult, but you have adult children. So you're a Sag adult and you have an adult ch child. So your, your child... or or children, however that resonates in your life, is at least 18 plus. They're not minor energy. They're at least 18 plus. And I heard um, they're about to find out they're pregnant and um, your child is. So you are an adult, Sag, and your child is 18 plus or children are 18 plus. And your adult child or children is about to find out that one of them sounds like they're find out, about to find out their baby bumping. So they're, it's, a, it's a female child. And I heard you're about to get lots of support um, from people. Um, I guess because you're about to display to the community or world or social media or whoever, however you connect into the world, that you're about to be a grandmother or grandfather. Um, so you were highly thought of. So um, this is the support from your community and whether it's social media or 3D or both. Um, I think congratulating you on about to be a grandparent. That's really beautiful, Sagittarius. If that resonates.
A particular Sagittarius is about to find out their grandchild is pregnant. It is about to shock them. Sagittarius Feminine. Okay. Um, minor Energy. Oh, Lord, Sag. Okay, so if this resonates with you, you're a Sag adult. You're a Sag adult as well. I feel a mature adult here, just like the other one. I feel mature, mature adult energy. This one, I feel mature adult energy as well. Uh, I feel like older Sagittarius energy. I didn't hear that, but I feel it. Like, maybe possibly 40 or above, and I'm serious. But you plug it in how it resonates. But how if that resonates, you have a grandchild. So that's why I feel you're at least 40 or above, too. Um, but you, only you know your story, not anybody else. But However, that resonates, you have a femme minor grandchild, a femme minor grandchild, if that resonates for you. I heard you're about to find out they're pregnant, and it's about to shock the hell out of you. So, you're highly thought of. I think you're about to get support from people, um, because maybe for some of you guys, I feel it's going to be a hard to take in that your minor grandchild is pregnant, or for some, you might fully support them, however that resonates, but um, uh, I heard it's going to shock you. It's going to shock you. For one, it's going to highly, highly, highly embarrass them. For one, it's going to highly, highly, highly embarrass them. So for one, it's going to shock you. For one, it's going to highly embarrass you that your minor female grandchild is pregnant. Um, however that resonates for you, Sagittarius. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else. Oh, sorry it's so long. A particular Sagittarius reader tarot reader is about to shut their channel down through many shocking series of chain of event chain of events youtube wow okay sag so if that resonates for you you're a sagittarius tarot card reader um I heard through many shocking series of chain of events, you're going to shut your tarot card reading channel down. I heard YouTube. So your tarot card reading channel is on YouTube in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard you're about to shut it, shut it down. So I feel that could either go positive or negative. Either you're shutting it down because you're not making enough business revenue off of it or you're not enjoying doing it on the negative side. Or on the positive side, maybe you have saved up from all the business revenue you have made. Um... And you're going to move on to bigger, better things. However, that resonates. I feel it can go both ways. However, that resonates in your life. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But you are a Sagittarius Femme tarot card reader. Um, and you're about to shut your YouTube tarot card reading channel down. However, that resonates. Um, through many shocking series of chain of events. So however that resonates in your life, I feel it could go either positive or negative. Sag tarot card reader. Only you know your story, not anybody else. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.